just after daylight. Right as it was turning kind of dusky gray, we saw a deer go across that hill right up there. I think it was a buck, but it was a little too dark to tell for sure. Just the way he was acting, though, I think it was a buck. I'm gonna hit these horns, and if it was, maybe we can get him to come back down in here.
did it. Now I'm a nervous wreck. Do not really the standing. Yeah, here's the blood right here. I don't see my hair. We can come back and find it later. I know he's laying right up here. I gotta go get my hands on him, take a look at him. Man, he was pouring the blood out. Look at this. Look there. Look there, folks. There he is. He's laying right there. I knew he'd be there. Oh, look at that bug. That is a pig. Oh, man. I can't believe this. That is one awesome white tail. What a buck. This is incredible. Man, this is a perfect 10 point. He's got character. Oh man, he's got mass. He's got it all. Oh guys, this, this buck just about killed me this morning. I was a nervous wreck by the time he got in there to me. We rattled him in. He came off the hill to us, came right to the horns, but he knew uh, he couldn't see no other deer down there. He didn't want to come in. He turned and left twice and I grunted. And finally he was leaving and we, I snort weaved at him a couple times and he came right in there to us. And right at the last second, I was so nervous. He knew something was up. He wanted to bolt and run, but he just turned and gave me one last chance and I drilled him. Oh, and he is a beautiful buck, man. He didn't go, our tree stands are right there. He didn't go 50 yards from the tree. That's the kind of tracking job I like. 